Insecurity in the country has been ongoing, unabated, especially with the high rise of kidnapping, banditry, invasion of villages, amongst others. To this end, the International Religious Freedom is calling on the U.S. Mission and British High Commission to wade in to help nip the ongoing security challenges in the board. Speaking during a visit to both bodies in Abuja on Tuesday, the team leader of the group, Mr. Philip Apave, said Nigeria is critically in need of their support and intervention, especially in the Middle Belt and Northern Nigeria. Some call it petition, some I call it a letter, but as far as I'm concerned, it's just a letter, okay, that seek for an attention, a round table, a town hall meeting with these embassies having a relationship with Nigeria. By extension, what we're saying is the country should be held accountable. And these international bodies, as well as nations as they were, also need to understand that Nigeria is critically in need of their interventions and their support. Because there is no nation that can succeed on its own. We all need one another. So it is just a request for a town hall meeting where one or two issues okay, can be discussed. Okay. And for now, it's just a request. So we will not go into the details of it for now. So that is all we seek to achieve so that we don't raise unnecessary uh, tension and misrepresent our purpose for coming. It's just to say, here we are. We have certain issues. We would appreciate if you could call us for a meeting. It's a simple letter asking for audience, like I said earlier, asking that the ambassador to the United States, as well as the UK High Commissioner, organize a round table where these organizations and the people of the Middle Belt and the North, they can come and air their grievances. Victims can come and tell their stories. It's because it's very important and as well that and you know that Nigeria was delisted from the country because of particular, uh, particular concern. And so these issues have to, we, we need answers that why were, was Nigeria delisted from the countries of particular concern and several other issues arising. Track up from the nation's capital, goodness and money, TNTV network.